Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course is open until the end of the month, but is it worth the money? Well, I am an alumni, an alumnus of that, that course. I took it in 2015. Since then, I've gone on to become a very successful self-published author. Under a pen name, I have sold 65,000 copies of my books. I've reached 320,000 readers through Kindle Unlimited. I've made nearly $15,000 in royalties in a single month. I've easily surpassed six figures in a single year. So, you know, I admit, don't make any secret of the fact that I owe a lot of that to Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course, but it is not perfect. And uh, every time the course opens up for enrollment, twice a year, I like to make a video or a couple of videos talking about it. Um, and today I'm going to talk about something that I don't think many people do talk about, which is what are the things that aren't good about Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course. Um, so I'm just about to jump into it. But before I do, if you listen to this video and you think it provides value, and despite the five things that I'm going to identify, you do decide that Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course is for you, then please, when you buy it, can you use the link down below? Because then I get a little piece of the action. And that's what inspires me to keep making these videos. Um, anyway, let's jump into it. What are the five things I don't like about Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course? Well, the first one is that it's missing the secret sauce. And this is something that I identified uh, when I took the course back in 2015, the first time I, I, I took the course, I experimented with the advertising. I wasn't seeing the results that, that Mark Dawson was when he spoke about the course. Um, and I reached out to him on Twitter and said, okay, I feel like you're, you're missing out the secret source. And he went, there's no secret source. Everything that you want is there. And he was right. He was right. But um, that's because there is the secret source missing, but it's not something he can teach you or provide you. The secret source is to have a book that people want to buy. Um, it, that's really the, the most fundamental thing that is going to make Mark Wilson's Ads for Authors course work for you or not work for you. I've spent two decades working in advertising and if there's one thing that I learned it's that people who work in advertising are generally borderline alcoholics. But there's a second thing that I've learned. It is that doesn't matter how much money you throw at advertising. If you have a product people don't want to buy, they're not going to buy it. And when you have written and published your book, you have to scoop out your writer brain, put it on the shelf and pick up your advertiser brain, your marketer brain and and think of your book as a product because it is a product. It's a product like a car, like a soup, like a can of soup. Uh, it has to provide value to whoever wants to buy it. And you have to really look critically at the product that you're making, what it promises, what it delivers, how it stacks up against competitive products. And ask yourself very seriously, is this something people will eagerly pay money for? And that's the secret source. You have to write a book people want to buy. And I found that out because I took Mark Dawson's course in 2015 and I didn't hit my first bestseller until 2018. In 2018, I wrote the first book that was just explosively popular. And from that point on, all of the stuff I'd learned about advertising worked really well for me, but before it didn't. And so that is the secret source. You have to write a book people want to buy. And I was, in 2015, I was disappointed with Mark Dawson's response when he said, I'm not missing a secret source, uh, even though that was a perfectly fair and valid response. I think he provided all of the information that, that he could and that you needed. I think it is something that he's definitely identified as a weakness in the course, because this year, all of the emails that go out to accompany a course and, and market the course and promote the course, a lot of them do focus on conversions, which are the, the percentage of people who arrive through advertising on your product page and then end up buying a book. Because <clears throat> that really is what makes advertising work and conversions are the secret source. As in, it doesn't matter how many people go to your book page, unless you've got the secret source, unless you've got a book that people want to buy, your advertising isn't gonna be successful. But if you do, it's gonna be prodigiously successful. And I know this for a fact because, um, you know, I work with a bunch of authors as a consultant and there's one author in particular who I've been working with recently, who, you know, invests $1,000 a month in advertising, gets $8,000 a month in book royalties and their conversion rate is less than three, which means it's 2.8 of the people who arrive on her product page, uh, out, of, out of those 2.8 people, one of them ends up buying a book, which is amazing. I mean, that's that's practically unheard of but it's because she writes amazing books and she's writes specifically to a to a, an audience who want to buy her books and 
the techniques that Mark Dawson's Ads for Ads for Authors course teaches you allows you to to really take the uh, take that opportunity and run with it. But if your book isn't something that people want to buy, you can spend tons of money on advertising and you're not going to see that return. So bear that in mind. And it is something that that Mark Dawson's course can't teach you. It's the reason the big five publishers are sinking is because you know they they've spent so long in such a controlled gatekeeped gatekeepered uh, industry and now it's all you know open to anybody who can self-publish they're dying because they can't consistently deliver the secret source whereas self-published authors like myself and many more many many more successful authors know how to consistently write books that deliver um, anyway yeah secret source it's the first thing about Mark Dawson's course that I think is missing uh, that I don't really like but I, I can't criticize that really because yeah right second thing is waffle and i know a thing or two about waffle this video is six minutes long already and i've only spoken about one of the things that i didn't like about mark dawson's ads for authors course and the second thing that i don't like is the fact like me he has a a tendency to be verbose uh which means he talks a lot um and you know to a certain extent that's kind of fun when i listen to, to him and james blatch on their self-publishing podcast uh they, they refer to it as banter and it's kind of nice you're doing the washing arm you're listening to um them chat about self-publishing and they have some back and forth and some witty stuff and that's fun but when you spend a significant amount of money on a course like ads for authors you don't pay for the waffle you pay for the information and there's a lot of information there there's a ton of information that you buy because when you buy uh, access to the Ads for Authors course, you have lifetime access. And every time they add a new module to it or they develop uh, a, a new segment or they update it, you get access to that. So this is, you know, I bought the course in 2015 for about $500. Now it retails for $850. But I still have access to the most recent, most up-to-date version of that course, <clears throat> which does provide a lot of value. But now I listen to it every single year when they update stuff, I listen to it. And I'm like, God, they don't have to talk, do they? Uh, there are 30 hours, I think, of, of course material there, and uh, no offense, I think they could probably squish it down to about 15. Um, so that's the second thing I don't necessarily like about Mark Dawson's course, is the fact that, um, yeah, it, it is a bit waffly. Um, but I'm a bit waffly. I mean, God, I, I could have just said, it's a bit waffly, I'm being done, but no, I had to spend a minute and 30 seconds going on about that. Right. Third thing I don't like about the Ads for Authors course is... And this is maybe a personal thing. It, there's a lot of repeated material. Um, I've noticed one of my biggest criticisms of it is in 2015, I took the, the original course, which was pretty much focused exclusively on Facebook. And every year I have I've eagerly gone in and seen the updated material and seen them add new segments to it about advertising for authors and things like that. And when new stuff happens, you know, Mark Dawson had his segment, which he narrated about advertising for authors and then uh, last year they brought in somebody formerly from Amazon who, who provided an entirely new segment about ads for authors which was you know a revelation so when you have new material it's great but it left me kind of disappointed when I go in and I'm like oh okay so they haven't updated that segment and maybe they don't need to you know if it, if it ain't broke don't fix it and it's very valid that a lot of the stuff that Mark and his, uh, his team cover hasn't necessarily changed since six months earlier and when it has changed they they do a, a very diligent job of like updating that particular segment but what you end up with is kind of like a patchwork um and i don't when i listen to the courses i've got adhd so i i have to do three things at once so i'm doing the washing up or i'm walking the dog or i'm sorting the laundry and I listen to one segment uh, that, that seems to be an older segment and there's a new segment and then they talk about the updates and it's become that, that kind of uh, quilt work that, that I don't, doesn't, doesn't run as seamlessly as it was the first time that I experienced Mark Dawson's course material. If you're new to it, you might not even notice, you might not even care, but I have to admit from a personal perspective, I almost wish that every year they just like re-record all the segments. But that's that's a big ask. I mean, it's 30 hours of material. That's a bloody big job to do. So maybe I'm being pedantic about that. I will hold up my hands and admit it. But yeah, I, I do wish kind of they didn't have the, the quilt work uh, of the new material and the old material because it kind of clashes. 
Right, number four. My fourth criticism of Mark Dawson's ads for authors, of course, is it is really difficult to put all of the stuff you learn into the context of your own books. And again, that's not really something that that would be an easy problem to solve. If they had like ads for authors for romance authors, you, you know, you could uh, you could basically do a step by step guide about how to be a successful um, romance author. But the the steps you need to take to be a successful romance author are different to the steps you need to take if you want to be a successful non fiction author. <clears throat> if you want to be a successful thriller author. There are different routes you have to take. There are different things you have to learn. There are different things you have to apply to your book. And it's so much more complicated uh, than you might think. It's like not all romance books are the same. Not all thrillers are the same. It's, sometimes it's counterintuitive. I work with a lot of authors and, you know, we'll go through all of the ads, uh, advertising for on Amazon materials that, that I've helped them do. And we're like, why is that author providing you so many leads? Why is this author, who you think is so close to yours, not giving you uh, leads and clicks and stuff like that? And it's because how people behave is really difficult to predict. And how people are going to react to your book is really difficult to predict. And how um, one audience might respond to your book compared to another audience is really difficult to predict. And again, this is why the big five publishers are kind of sinking, because... Um, for so long they existed in like this closed ecosystem they dominated and gatekeepered the industry now it's open to everybody anybody can go and self-publish the books the only thing that matters is data or data um, you need to be able to examine the results of your advertising put it into the context of what works and what doesn't and that's really difficult to do and I think the, the ads for authors course tries to teach you that as much as possible but it is something you have to learn yourself. So my own self-publishing uh, the journey, as I said, you know, 2015, I took the course. 2018, I hit my first bestseller. And the results I got in terms of advertising, kind of sometimes things worked, sometimes things didn't work, sometimes things changed, you know. I had a system in 2018 that would deliver $10,000 a month every time I launched a book. Whereas that same system in the first half of 2019 you know, 75% of the revenue just like fell off the cliff because Amazon changed things. So yeah, this Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course will, will teach you everything you need to know, but then you need to go and apply it in real life to your own books. And that's not something Mark Dawson can teach you through a, an online course. You actually would have to have him holding your hand and, and giving you advice. And he might not necessarily know. He writes a very specific type of book uh, that is very different to other types of books. So yeah. That's one of the other criticisms I have about the course. And the final one, uh, the final criticism of Mark Dawson's ads for authors course is it is bloody expensive. I think it's 850 bucks now, which, you know, that's a, that's a significant chunk of change. Um, for me, it's always been a no brainer because, you know, I took Mark Dawson's ads for authors course and since then, I have gone on to make the amount of money. I spent $500 and I've, I've gone on to make that back many, many times over. Many, many times over in a single month. I mean, there is no question that it was an investment that was worth it for me. But that's a big upfront expense. And as I said, I didn't start seeing the, the return on investment until like 2018. So for, for two years, three years, I was kind of in that limbo of like, oh, I spent all that money on that course. Was it really worth it? And then I was like, holy crap, yeah, yeah, it was worth it. Um, and I, beyond just being an author and selling books, it was really, really, really useful to me because I actually developed a business based around the subscriber model that, that I learned from one of Mark Dawson's courses. So, you know, yeah, it's super expensive. If you can get it right, you will make many, many times your money back. But if you don't get it right, then that's a lot of money to sink into something. Um, and often I'll work with authors and I'll speak with authors who have paid money for Mark Dawson's course. And because of my second criticism, the waffle, they haven't necessarily gone through it all. And I mean, I know I bought Mark Dawson's $20 um, how to launch your book course. And I got about halfway through and then I was like, blimey, he's talking a bit much, isn't he? So that's my, my final criticism of it. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, there's no question that Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course 
changed my life. It gave me the opportunity to be a successful self-published author, to pay my mortgage through writing, which is a passion I've had since I was nine years old. But it's not all on Mark. You know, you spend that money and you need to take responsibility for squeezing as much value out of that course as possible, which means you really need to think critically about whether your book is worth advertising. You have to work your way through all of the waffle. You, um, you, you have to listen to the latest version, which might have segments in from previous versions. So it's kind of a bit of a patchwork that you have to navigate. You have to figure out how to put all of this stuff that you learn into the context of your own books, which not only can be time consuming, it can also be quite expensive. And finally, yeah, you have to lay all that money out in cash uh, beforehand. But while I think those are all very, very valid criticisms, if somebody came to me and said, uh, should I buy Mark Dawson's course? I'd take a look at their books and I would tell them yes or no, depending on, you know, if I thought their books were, were good and worth advertising. And funnily enough, the last video I made about this, there was a very, very nice uh, person who left uh, a nice comment, uh, uh, Mahi uh, Mystery, who has just uh, actually got on pre-order a book called The Dirty Wild Sultan. And, you know, she asked me whether the course was, was right for her and I went and looked at her books and I was like, hell yeah. I actually pre-ordered her book because she got the cover right, she got the blurb right, she got everything right. So I'm like, you advertise that baby, you're gonna see results. But previous books that she'd done, the covers weren't right and the, the blurbs weren't right. Those are the books she'd written starting out and I had the same thing when I had books starting out. So yeah, listen to those five points, put them in your head, think critically. If you do decide to buy the course, please use that link down below. But uh, whatever happens, best of luck in your self-publishing journey.